Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and I haven't been on here for what about a week, week and a half. I've been pretty sick. Uh, I've been down with COVID and on um, the weekend of, let's see, March 3rd, 2nd and 3rd, I started kind of sneezing and had a little cough. I went to work on Monday the 4th and I had like this frog in my throat that occasionally would cause me to cough. It would never clear. No idea what's going on. Um, and I knew I just didn't feel right. Like I just kept getting worse throughout the day. And in true fashion of myself, I tried to deny it and say I've got, you know, big events coming up on the 5th that I've ordered catering for. You know, I just want to make sure everything gets done. I can't be sick. You know, not like anybody else could handle it. I mean, come on now. So, um, I woke up Tuesday the 5th and couldn't move. Nothing was happening. I was soaking, I think I was soaking in sweat at that point. Maybe not. I think um, Tuesday and Wednesday, I just slept. Two days straight, just slept. I'd wake up occasionally, have a bite to eat try and drink some Gatorade, um, and then by Thursday the 7th, I went over to patient first, which I prefer to do that over my doctor, just because it's, I feel like, you know, they don't have a hundred questions. When you don't feel good, you just want to get in, you know, what are your symptoms, look at me, I'm dying, okay. Let's do a COVID test. Did that. Came back positive. So, um, they gave me the Paxlovid. So, I started that on Thursday. I took that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling better. On Monday, I went to work because I just thought maybe I'm being lazy. I will tell you, Thursday, I took two doses. I'm looking at my calendar over here because days run together when you're sick. You don't, we, we don't know. Is it still March? Um, on Thursday, I took my two doses. And on Friday, I sprang from my bed. Did four loads of laundry, uh, scrubbed my bathroom to include my shower and bathtub because all I wanted when I was sick was to have disinfected bathroom, take an Epsom salt bath, and I was running out of clothes because I was sweating through them. At this point, I was sweating. And I have a whole drawer dedicated to just my Richmond Spiders t-shirts. I was on my last one. Uh, so, I was scrounging for socks. Yeah, it was crazy. So, um, on Monday, I said, I'm just going to go in. I still don't feel well, but maybe I just need to get up and move, right? My eyes were like outlined in bright pink. They looked weird. I looked awful. And people were like, oh, we heard you were so sick. We're so glad you're back. You look great. <laughs> I, I did not. Um, and then Tuesday I called out. I was like, I can't. I can't move. And I slept all day Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, a Tuesday afternoon, I said, can I work from home for the rest of this week just so I can get something done? I just don't have the energy to get up and get dressed and drive. 
And so my boss said, yeah, try Wednesday and Thursday and then come back in on Friday because we have someone else out. Okay, that's reasonable. And on Wednesday, yesterday, I was emailing one of the professors I work for and I was just like, you know, I guess the Paxlovid is still working because so I'm still sweating but I still feel bad, and I don't know what's going on. And he said, that's odd. And I said, what? Doesn't Paxlovid make you sweat it out? And he's like, no. When my wife and I took it, we did not sweat it out. You need to call the doctor. So I was like, okay. And I usually don't, but if he says to call the doctor, I do. Because he's just like me. We're both stubborn. We're both anxious. <laughs> So, I called the doctor and said, I'm still having all of these symptoms, you know, what's going on? And so they said, come in. So I went back to patient first, and uh, this time they did a chest x-ray to make sure that it hadn't settled into my lungs and become <coughs> pneumonia which it had not, so that was good. And um, they wanted to do blood work. And I'm not a nurse, you know, but I always listen and I love learning new things. And so I know that a white blood... <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> Let me grab something to drink. got like a 12 pack of these if you're very sick and weak the way to open these hold your hand over the top for a little while until it gets warm and it kind of expands and that makes it easier to open because I was so weak I could not open them let me have a sip I had a 12 pack of these. That's pretty much all I got left. One. So I gotta go to the store. Anyway. So, um, slept Tuesday and Wednesday. Went, okay. So yeah, I called the doctor. They said, come in. They did the chest x-ray. Negative for pneumonia, thank goodness, which I didn't think it was. I don't even think it's bronchitis. Um, had those enough to, well, not pneumonia. Anyway, um, then they did blood work. Okay, so I have learned that white blood count, maybe I watched too much Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> we don't know. White blood count is for bacteria. I learned yesterday that monocytes, test for viruses. I had no idea. I was always wondering, most of my life, how do they know if you have a virus? Is there something in the blood that tells you? Yes. Monocytes. M-O-N-O-C-Y-T-E-S. Yes? I think. Um, I know, y'all probably don't care, but I love to learn little things like that, because if I'm ever on Jeopardy, I gotta know these things, okay? Okay. Um, so, normal monocytes are 7. Mine were 11. I'm still fighting the virus. That's why my body is sweating. It's trying to expel the virus. I'm sweating just sitting here. I've lost 4 pounds in a week. <sighs> My niece came back. She's like, it's probably water weight. Cause that wasn't nice, okay? We need to lose fat. Um, so yesterday, after the blood work, she said, I am going to give you azithromycin. It's a Z-pack. I don't know how to say it. Azithromycin? I don't know how to say it. Anyway... It's the Z-Pack. 
And the Z-Pack never used to work for me, I guess, because as a child I used to take so many antibiotics for ear infections. Um, but I didn't say anything. I'm like, give me something, because I am dying. And, of course, antibiotics are for bacteria. And so I asked her, I said, you know, this is a virus. Why am I taking it? And she said, well, it's, it's like a lung infection. This virus is like a lung infection. So we're going to treat the lung infection part of it. And it's just basically to make sure I don't get pneumonia. And it just kind of helps my body to fight that virus. Because my body just can't fight it this time. So, that made sense. Um, so, I came home and took the two pills. The first day I have to take two pills. And then today and the next three days I take one pill a day. So I took those two and I just, you know, I would get up and work and then I would tell, tell my, you know, professor, I have to go lay down. He's like, it's fine. I'm in no rush. I said, just send your edits or whatever when you're ready. And when I get up, I'll do them. So, you know, the last round I did, I think was like at 730 last night I think that was the last time I got up and then I was like all right yeah mm, I gotta stay down so we were done anyway so this morning I woke up and you can hear that I am still stuffy but this is nothing compared to what it was 24 hours ago I was just Everything was clogged. I couldn't breathe. My pressure in my ears, which was hurting this jaw. This jaw has a lot of pain in it. Just from my shifting of my teeth and the way my bite is lining up through the Invisalign. Sometimes that hurts. Well, the pressure from my ears and sinuses. I, no, not good. But I woke up this morning and I was like, ah, I can breathe a little bit and I feel that much better. Just having an unclogged head made me feel a little bit better. I can tell I'm still weak, I'm still sweating, but the antibiotic at least helped to clear my nose so i'm wondering if i was starting to develop a sinus infection i don't know maybe so that's where we are now um i don't know that i will <coughs> I don't know that I will film any the rest of this week. I'm probably going to wait until I can be me and bring y'all all of me. Um, I miss y'all. <laughs> but, and I miss filming and having fun with y'all, but it's not fun when you don't feel good. You can't have fun. So I'm just going to you know, rest up this weekend. Um, I'm supposed to return to the office Friday and see how I do. And then I'll take the weekend, see how I feel. And if I'm not feeling better um, by Tuesday, Wednesday, back to the doctor. But I will keep you posted. If I feel, you know, back pretty much to normal by this weekend we'll have a video I don't know what we'll do um, but we'll have a video but for right now I just wanted to tell you why I've been gone what's going on I will be back I'm just trying to heal my poor old body <coughs> and um, yeah listen to your body rest when you need it don't be stubborn go to the doctor and that's it. I'll see you soon.